What up, people? This is Bonjo. Today, we're on our way to Split, to have a day in Split, to see what it costs. Mickey's over there with Enzo, walking over to the Bura line. Actually, funny thing about this Bura line is at the beginning of the season, somebody lit the other one that looks like this on fire in the water. They say it was a competition company. Who knows, right? That's pretty crazy. But two days ago, get this one, guys. There's a meteor shower here in Croatia and maybe in other parts of Europe too, but in Croatia, I know that because I live here. So we've seen a bunch of meteors fall from the sky. Pink, green comets, it was crazy, it's cool. Apparently it happens every 2000 years. So we're quite lucky to see that. We're going on this Bura line. We're gonna get our day start and split from Trogir. So you can catch the Bura line for only eight euros per person. And you get the scenic route, it stops in Slatine, and then goes to the port of Split. And in the port of Split, you will see the places where you catch buses to go to other cities like Makarska or wherever you wanna go. And you, it's also where the ferries are, where you take the ferry to Italy, to Far, to Brac, to Sholta, to all these different places, to Dubrovnik. And, uh, that's the main part of Split. And it also stops right on the Riva, Diocletian's Palace. So it's a good location. You can take the bus for two to four euros, depends if you use the app or not, or this eight euros. It's double the price, but you get the scenic route and it stops right in the middle of the action, not at the bus station. Cause the bus station is about, I would say a 15 minute walk to the Riva. So it's pretty cool, right? But here we are in Trove Gear. Look how nice this is. And I'm using a DJI Osmo action for today look at this it's better than the gopro so far so good but let's get out there Yeah, so it was, in fact, 16 euros for both of us. The kid was free, so kids are free on here. And now we're off to split. It's that one. There's the happiest girl. You like the boat? Yes, I like it. We we'll see how it is. Yeah. Trip. We recommend it, yeah? Instead yeah. of the bus? Not every time. Not every time. It's expensive this, but the bus, oh my god. Stop everywhere, there's a lot of people. And she gets crazy, you want to walk, you can't. And this brings you right in the middle of the action. The bus stop is far away. about 10 minutes away from our destination which is split here in Croatia you can see Marian Hill over here and then we're gonna pull up to the Riva right here is the end of Chiovo our island that's Slatina and we think that's either Brach or Sholta one of the two we don't know eh we don't know but this is Chiovo the last of Chiovo we made it to Split here. It's pretty, uh, pretty good ride, but uh, Enzo was getting a little bit tired at the end, right? Yes, and now we're so, so much for him. Yes. But actually, it's a very good option to do something different. Yeah, it's very nice. He enjoyed most of it. It's just at the end because it's like it took an hour on the bus. It would take about an hour and twenty minutes, I would yes. say, because maybe more sometimes depends on if you have to stop at the airport and all that. So you save a little bit of time. And you get a scenic row, so it wasn't bad. So here we are in Split. Almighty Split, look at this place, huh? And also the finish of the ride is in front of the old town. Yeah, in front of the, the Riva, boat. yes. And this is, so behind us here, 
It's where you catch all the ferries, the Yadrilinia and all that, to go to all the islands, to go to Italy. And here is Diocletian's Palace. And it's a perfect location to get off at, I think. Look at this old pirate ship here. It's cool, huh? Yes, as you can see, August in Split, it's the morning. And it's insane here, huh? Yeah, because everybody's taking excursions to go to the island. Yeah, but it's still busy for being in the morning. Imagine when it's like 12, 1, or at nighttime, Jesus. But first up, we're getting a coffee. I don't know how much a coffee is here nowadays. It's probably... It should be 2 euros, 3 euros. It's gonna be about 3 euros. That's pretty expensive, I'd say. I know. And uh, 350. Some people are saying on TikTok and stuff that it's uh, 10 bucks for an ice cream here on the Riva. Can you believe that? Bobby's, huh? Yeah, this is Bobby's. This is a you good... You want a coffee to go or you want to sit down? We can have a coffee to go. Yeah, Bobby's is a good brand, trustworthy brand. Never go wrong with the local Bobby's. Yeah, so the ice cream is actually $2.90 and $2.50. And Enzo's gonna get one. I think he's gonna grab a vanilla. So it's not 10 euros, what? Yes, you'll get an ice cream. It's not 10 euros, see? Enzo is just chowing on an ice cream here. Enzo, Enzo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how much the coffee costs so far. It's 16 plus 250, not bad. So 18.50 we're standing at. And then plus whatever the coffee and the croissant that she's getting. So we'll see, I think it's gonna be about uh, five euros for all that, maybe. Five euros, six euros. So we got two of these coffees, a croissant and a donut. Guess how much it came to? 11 euros. 11 euros here on the Riva. That's insane. Eh, three, three, damn, you know, to go. Uh, but it's good coffee, it's good coffee, but three. 11 euros, what did I say, six? I, I guess six. It was far off six, it was double six. 11 plus 250 is 1350 plus 16. That's $29.50 so far. Just arriving here, having a coffee. $29.50 spent already. So is it budget friendly yet? Doesn't seem like it. But it could have been. You could have took the bus and stuff like that, right? But we're gonna walk through the market here. Take a walk through the market. This is uh, beside Diocletian's Palace here. And it's a beautiful little farmer's market. You get a bunch of stuff here. Fruits, vegetables, everything. See all this kind of stuff? That's nice. We used to, we have a lots of videos. We come here and buy uh, snacks, little peanuts and dried fruit. It's a good little spot to have some. <laughs> See? She, she's good. Some dried meat. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good place. Fair price. I mean, is it cheaper than a grocery store? Probably not. But that's okay. You gotta support the local farmers, the local people. But here's Diocletian's Palace here. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Check out the old city, Starry Grad Split. We're walking up to the cathedral. You can actually pay, I don't know what it is now, but it, it used to be like 20 kunas and you could go all the way to the top. Mickey and I did that. And we had a little romantic time up there. So it's pretty cool because we had it all to ourselves because it's during COVID and nobody's here. So we went all the way up there by ourselves. You get a panoramic view of Split and you get to see the sea, the mountains, you get to see everything, the whole layout of the Diocletian's Palace. And we had it to ourselves. So we got a little romantic time. See, 250 for ice cream here, not bad. So those people that are saying it's like 10 euros for ice cream, give me a break, where are you eating that? But I mean, 13.50 for ice cream, uh, a croissant, a donut, two coffees is wild too, but that's okay. That's okay, that's the price of a tourist spot, right? And here it is. 
all the people taking their pictures here. And I've been here millions of times and I have millions of videos on it, but it never gets old. Look at that, it's cool, huh? Nice spot. They usually have these guys dressed up as Roman knights. You got the Sphinx over there, a gift from the Egyptian king. You can go in there and take a video of the ceiling. It's like a big circle with an opening. You can see the sky. It's pretty cool. Mickey used to work down here in the basement, the Podrumi. But now there's just a museum and it's a walkthrough. Because they closed all the stores. I don't know why the government did that. But they closed all the stores. The rumor was that they're going to charge people to go through it. So that's pretty crazy, a money grab. But this is the ceiling I'm talking about. Pretty famous. See ya. Traditional music is going to be sang here, clapper. These guys are going to be singing the traditional Croatian music of Dalmatia. Let's see what's going on, eh? I wonder what song they're going to sing. But it's pretty packed. Look at all the tour groups. Think about it, what we came in. He used to come here years ago. It was dead because of COVID. Here we go. going to this pawn shop which is crazy because I'm selling my old GoPro because I got like three GoPros and uh, I got this new DJI Osmo Action 4 and it's actually way better than GoPros in every aspect every aspect is better so I'm gonna go sell it for 150 euros we already made a deal 150 euros for the GoPro it's not bad and then uh, basically pays off this so I changed it and upgraded for the same price basically so I met somebody and bought this don't know how they got it don't care it's mine now and that's it eh? and I got it for a good price so here we go but this is a beautiful little place here eh? look at this the streets of the Diocletian Palace here in Split look how nice this is though and you also got places like that are nice little restaurants eateries uh, we're not gonna do that today I don't know because we got a lot of personal stuff to do like Mickey's gone to the hospital with Enzo and I gotta go do this and then I'm gonna go meet them at the hospital and then we're gonna go to the mall but I thought I'd get a little video in between it's nothing serious at the hospital don't worry and uh, yeah so I just uh, why not while we're here make another video 2024 in August what does it look like here in Split from Trogear is it a costly day so far i would say could be less but you know it's okay and here we are at the beginning and we're gonna walk out to the statue of nin and you rub this man's toe so you rub this statue's toe and you get good luck 
almost like every big city in Europe has something like that, like a bronze statue that you rub something, their toe, their finger, their horn, their breast. There's one, we see one in Makarska, you rub the girl's breast, and you get good luck, so it's the same. And this is the statue here, Gregory Nin, statue Nin, I think. I forget what his name is. Yeah, Ninsky. Gregor Nin. So that's it. Says it right at the bottom. Look at this man, eh? And there's a whole history video about it on my channel somewhere. So you can watch it of who he is and the uh, history behind it, the dark past, and why they love this guy. But we're walking to the pawn shop now. So let's skedaddle. And that's Diocletian's Palace, though. Amazing, eh? For everybody that wants to come to Split and experience the city of Split, my advice would be stay in Chiovo. You get better beaches. It's a little bit more quieter and you can just do day trips here. I think uh, you don't need it to stay every day here. And it's a quick jump, hop, and a skip away. So we could always come here every day. But we don't. We used to come here every day actually because it's, you know, it's a new country, the big city. And so we always used to come here. And now that we live in Oak Road, we enjoy our town a hell of a lot more. It's nice and quiet. The beach is right in front of my house. And it's a better beach, like the Bocvice beach here. It's so crowded. And it's just not my cup of tea. I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as our beach. Chiovo is the best. Perfect location, especially if you're planning to do day trips. Perfect location, 10 minutes from the airport, everything. And it's cheaper where we are. Cheaper, so cheaper as in cost effective, not cheaper as in lower quality. Some people get confused. I made a Shocks of Malta video talking about how overpriced it was, but I used the word expensive. So they had a big problem with that saying like, oh, it's not a budget place. I said, well, it was cheap compared to like Italy, here maybe, and stuff like that in certain aspects. But it was more expensive than I thought it would be, especially for Malta. Like, no offense to Malta, but it's, would I go back there again? Maybe to Valletta at the right time, but I'm not searching to go back there. You know what I mean? It's not my preferred spot. I live in Croatia, so we have beaches everywhere. I'm not there to see beaches, so I'd rather be here. But let's go, we're going to the pawn shop. Pawn shop here in Croatia. I never thought I'd sell something in a pawn shop. I know I'm gonna get less money than what I could online, but the fact of the matter is, I don't wanna meet a bunch of different people. I just wanna sell it, get rid of it. I don't really need the money, I just, that's why it's just like, okay, I can get a discount on my new camera, basically. Here's a little tip for anybody that's coming to Split and they want to watch a football match between Hajduk and whoever. Maybe Dinamo, that'd be the one to go to. But those tickets are ultra hard to get. As of now, I am not allowed to get season tickets because they're all sold out for the next few upcoming years. I, there's no waiting list either, so that's a shame. But for everybody that's visiting here, the best way to do it is to buy your tickets online or you can go to the fan shop in Joker Mall here in Split or any fan shop here in Croatia and buy the tickets on match day. But the preferred location is the one either at Poljud Stadium or at Joker Mall. And you can just go in there, line up, it'll be packed. So you gotta get there early and buy your tickets, especially with Ivan Rakitic and Ivan Perisic there, Marco Lovaya, Brekalo, they got a bunch of guys, right? So. The upcoming years are gonna be hard to get tickets. That's for Hajduk Split. This is the pawn shop I was supposed to come to. They got swords and everything. But look at this. 12-8, so the 12th of August to the 17th of August. They aren't working. Or two, oh it says two to Damn, so I gotta come back later. So that means we gotta go and come back later, which I don't think we can 
because we're going to the mall. <clears throat> so this screwed up my plans. Mm. Looks like I gotta come back. So now I'm walking back to the Riva and I'm gonna go to the bus station and take a bus from Diocletian Palace to the hospital. And that was a bummer because I walked all the way here and it's not open. So now we're going to the Mall of Split. We're gonna go to the store Interschwar. And we're gonna, actually we're gonna go to City Center One, not Mall of Split. And uh, we're gonna go to Interspar, get something to eat, and maybe look at a few clothing stores and just look around and show you guys around the mall, see what they got. Uh, but yeah, I guess you guys couldn't see the inside of the pawn shop and meet the guy. He's a cool guy. Uh, speaks good English. Very good guy. Yeah, if everybody's wondering, if you come to Croatia, everybody speaks English. And yes, we don't have kunas anymore. We have, we have euros. We have euros. Kunas is way, way gone, way gone, way gone. So I know a lot of people are confused about that still. Do we have kunas still? Cause I, where can I switch my euros to kunas? It's like, bro, if you switch your euros to kunas, you just lost a bunch of money. But hey, if you guys want to switch your euros to kunas, I got kunas if you guys want to give me your euros. Let's do it. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering what bus takes you to the hospital here, it's actually 3, 11, 8, and I think 3, 11, 8, and 30, I think. So all those buses will take you to the hospital and you just get off and go to the hospital. So if you ever need the hospital, remember, and you're in the city center, 3, 11, 8, and 30, I think. So you can take all of those. That's good, I'm gonna show you guys where the bus terminal is and we're gonna go. You can get it on this street that I'm standing on. Back there is the bus stop. And you can see all the different, they have like the little screen that shows you when all the buses are coming. Like three minutes, three, bus three will be coming and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'll show you where the big circle is where they all kind of intertwine with each other and they all get dropped off by the Riva here. I forget what the name is, name is of this bus stop but there's an actual name to it. Whoa. Damn, this girl just scared the hell out of me. Damn, I just seen this girl. She, I think she might have been uh, going through some rough times. She's just butt naked washing herself in this fountain here. Outside of the Diocletian Palace and there's a Gregor Neen. Gregory Neen here. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, she's just butt naked washing herself. You never really see that kind of stuff here. I don't know where she's from. Maybe, maybe Germany probably, eh? A lot of Germans are like that kind of crazy you know well there she is right there she's still topless she's still topless but I'm not gonna show you her because she's topless and that's against YouTube guidelines <laughs> well, there, see she's rubbing the toe here and that signifies she's gonna get good luck for rubbing the bronze toe see another man lining up Rubbing the toe. The old toe rubbers out here in Split. Eh? Everybody's a toe rubber because they want some good luck. So rub a toe, get some good luck. Shine that brass, baby. Look at the massive amounts of tour groups. It's crazy. All these guys come here, snap photos. I don't even know if they eat anywhere. I just think they just come here, snap photos, and go back on the cruise ship or they go back on the bus wherever they came from. But look at this, another angle of Gregory Neen. Wow. I mean, you got the warrior, the Roman warriors dressed up. So if you want to take a photo with them, I don't think it's a scam. It's just a photo. They'll charge you like about, I think, 10 euros. Bye. Yes, these are the guys you can take a picture with if you guys want to. But look at this place, huh? It's cool. And if you want to, you can take a picture with them. I think it costs about. 
10 to 20 euros <laughs> depends on how they're feeling and what they want to charge you but this is the podrumi where or the basement and this is where mickey used to work but look how good this camera is compared to the gopro in low light like you can literally see down here with the gopro you couldn't even see like this this is nice i like this look at this and it's just my settings are on auto i didn't use the pro mode because the pro mode you always got to switch back and forth i don't like it this is way easier for a lazy vlogger but if you go down here this is where that um i forget her name from what's that show called here game of thrones <laughs> i forgot the show's name but game of thrones this is that girl you know the girl with blonde hair that always shows her boobs i forget her name Alice's or Khaleesi or something but right down here is where she kept her dragons in the dungeon and this was the dungeon that she kept the dragons in right through this gate you can go this way and that's where Khaleesi I guess her name is kept her dragons in the show Game of Thrones so if you want to go check out some Game of Thrones spots splits to place but I mean really you know I think Game of Thrones is kind of done with I don't think many Game of Thrones travelers are still coming here. Maybe I could be wrong, but I don't know. I'm walking to the bus stop now. Actually, I'm going to go to Marion Hill and show you guys where you guys can hike. If you guys are hikers and adventurers, you can take your bicycle and go sit up top of the hill. And I'll show you my favorite place to have a beer because of the glasses. Only strictly because of the glasses. Here in the Riva, it's called the Olive Tree. And it's at the end of all these, see these little white things? Do, 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 do. It's at the end. And uh, there's a garbage, a local garbage truck, if you're interested. And how they get the garbage with tiny garbage trucks. A lot of garbage with these little tiny garbage trucks. If you're looking at this river right now, this is the outside of Diocletian Palace and the sea is right there. It's actually not that bad. It's not that packed, is it? Not that many tourists here in August, but uh, my apartments are actually sold out for the season. And I think most of my neighbors' apartments are sold out for the season, but here, I don't know. You don't see many tourists. I thought it'd be more packed, but it might get more packed. Maybe that's an afternoon thing, because today, during the day, usually everybody does their excursions. They go to the beach. Main attraction is going to the beach, right? So why would they stay in town sometimes when it's nice weather? they can enjoy the sun especially if they're from Poland England these places that really don't get that kind of weather so it's nice to have that kind of beach here every day all day those sit I swear to God our tourists will sit there from six o'clock in the morning all the way to the end of the night geez eh? geez I guess this video kind of turned into information about split and uh, my advice to you traveling to split I intended for the video to be about prices but it's just a trip from Trogir to split cost of the day tips tips and quivers and that's it the mall maybe let's go check out the mall I told you about the pawn shop just a day in the life of an expat I guess as we can call it but here we are eh? all the trees right there it's a pretty sick place especially inside the food is dope too but um if you want to eat here you're definitely gonna get overpriced overpay but it's middle of tourist season and it's on the Riva it's in a location you're paying for location and it's quality it's quality trust me some of the countries I've been to you pay maybe more for garbage like damn we ate at a place in Malta expensive place we had like their local rabbit stew it tasted like ketchup with some awkward meat I don't know how to explain with some pasta awkward meat ketchup and some awkward pasta and it was awful it was expensive but here's the olive tree here and this is the best spot for me to have something to eat or a drink honestly I might go there I might go there I can't go to split and not go to the olive tree but here if you keep walking this way around the beach around the this is where oh I'll show you guys something. We'll walk over there actually. It's actually, if you guys ever watched that uh, show Below Deck, have you ever watched Below Deck? The Mediterranean, they actually come to Croatia a lot. 
Captain Sandy, Captain Glenn, these people. Uh, Aisha, she's she's a hilarious first stew, the bosun, you know, all these people. If I, I wanted to be on a yacht, on a charter, to, ch to be a yachty, I'd be super green though. Green means that you're a rookie, you have no experience. I'd be hella green. But like, look at this, you can take the tuk-tuks. But they're probably overpriced as usual. This is my dream car, a nice Vespa Ape. But uh, it'd be kind of cool to have a Vespa Ape, just an everyday car going to the store picking up groceries but yeah this is where the below deck parked their yachts actually right here over by over by Joe's Beach Bar so I'm gonna get away from there because the buses are kind of loud and I'm gonna have to use noise reduction after this but this is where you bring all your little small boats obviously and over there is where all the yachts go you can park it. They have fancy bars, fancy restaurants. They have a sports club. They have cool parks that you can bring your family to, have a picnic. It's nice. And parking here, impossible to get parking. You have to go over here. It's like in between two buildings. And you got to pay a pretty penny for parking here. And it's, it's honestly hard. It's not worth it to drive here. If you're staying in Trogir, you're better off like parking in like Solene and then taking a bus or an Uber from Solene or wherever just outside the city. But the drive here is insane. It's not worth it. That's for sure. But this is split. Look at this. Split in August. Freaking beautiful, isn't it? And for all you travel vloggers that want to go in deep in the hoods of every country. Oh, this is where tourists don't go. Those kind of vloggers. It's kind of getting corny nowadays. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. I like it. But it's like, that's your whole shtick. It's like, come on. Do something else. Do something else. Like one trick pony, but yeah, you can go to Berta here. Berta is the bad neighborhood. Bad, I use it in quotations because if you're from Canada or USA or any other country that has a bad neighborhood, huh, it's not that bad. I'm sure something could happen. Something could happen anywhere, but I don't think so. And here's uh, the public washrooms here. And before you would have to pay five kunas or two kunas or something so here's the vetse on the beach and there's a lady there and you got to pay i think probably about a euro now i'd say i haven't i don't have to use it so i'm not gonna go pay a euro to go in just to show you guys and i don't think you can bring a camera in for youtube because it's a bathroom it's weird filming in bathrooms i guess but yeah so parking is here see that parking spot down there and then you can go up here up those stairs and you can go to marion hill and there's a cool cross, like the Redeemer statue, but way smaller, like the one in Brazil. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you just follow the path and you can go up there. Luis Figo actually took a picture of the, halfway up there there's a bar. And Luis Figo came here and he took a picture of it, so, of himself looking over Split. It's a beautiful spot. I, I did it too, I went to that place and it's a beautiful spot. You can see the whole Riva from that location and it's nice. Marianne Hill, gotta go there if you like hiking. Look at this boat, eh? Jeez. Jeez, eh? Jeez. All these rich folk. So here is where all the super yachts park. I mean, these ones aren't so fancy. You got, you can see the likes of the Percival with Captain Sandy. You can see the sailboat yacht with Captain Glenn. And you can see all the crew from the bosuns to everybody. But look at these yachts, huh? You can see 200 million dollar yachts. I've, I've seen a, there's a yellow one coming around here. And it's like the Lamborghini of yachts. It's, it's insane. Hopefully we can see it, that'd be nice. But it's like yellow and black. It's a nice one. But look at, and there is where all the poor guys go on the ferries. Yachts, ferries. That's it. I remember we seen a, the other day we seen a, uh, a sailboat. It was like, like a yacht sailboat yacht in front of our house in our bay and mickey's like oh hopefully next year we can buy a boat like that what does that cost as much as a car i'm like huh, i wish you know maybe to run it for a week it costs as much as a car but yes they're expensive more expensive than our house mickey more expensive than our house but look at the athenas there's the yacht. There's another yacht. These are poor guys' yachts. Where's the super yachts? 
<laughs> these probably still cost like a crazy amount today. I remember watching Below Deck and it cost like, what, 200,000 for a couple days? 200,000 euros for a couple days? That's insane. That's well, pretty cool though. But this is a spot. If you keep walking down and you follow the water, you'll come to a place called Joe's Beach Bar and it's underneath Marion Hill. And if you go to the road above, you can go to Marion Hill and you can go on top and look down at Joe's Beach Bar, but I don't think you can see it. But this is the yacht spot. The yacht spot. I just got a message from Mickey saying she is done at the hospital, but she's going to have a coffee with her friend. So that's why I came down here and wasted some more time. I thought I was going to take a little longer. You know what's crazy? I'll tell you a little story. So Enzo had bad breath and we're like, why is this guy like putrid breath? Like smelled like a dead bird or a dead rat or something in his mouth. And we're like, we got to get this checked out because it's not normal to smell like death in your mouth, like death. So we took him to the pediatrician. She said, we got to come to a specialist here in Split. That's why we're here in Split today and get an x-ray in his face and his chest to see if he has a chest infection or if he put something on his nose or if he choked on something uh, and it's stuck in his throat, like a sliver or something maybe. So he rewinded it now. We went to Tommy, it's a local supermarket. <laughs> he bought this soccer ball. It's made out of foam. So uh, I was like, where's your soccer ball? And I noticed that he, there's all these little pieces everywhere. He was chewing pieces off and he spit it out everywhere. So I took his soccer ball away. I said, what are you doing? You can't be doing that. You can't be chewing up your soccer ball. We just bought that and it's not good for you. And that was what stuck up in his face, the sponge of a soccer ball. He had a huge piece. And then Mickey said the doctors, when they pulled it out, they were, they were like puking, like gagging, blah, 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 because it was so putrid, the smell, and they couldn't handle it. And it was like a huge piece of a soccer ball in his nose. And I guess, you know, when it's, it's like a sponge, so it's soaking up all the body fluids and it just stayed there. That's why he couldn't breathe. It always sounded like he was sick for the last couple of weeks. We're like, why? What's wrong with him? He's not feeling sick, but imagine the relief this kid has. Jeez, and you just, you just don't know. That's crazy. Damn, a soccer ball. Went up his nose through his mouth. That's insane. That's insane, but he's better now, so that's it. And look at Split, man. Look at the Riva. This place is beautiful beautiful it's my favorite like this is my favorite place in all of europe out of all the countries we visited crush is up there i like italy too i'm not gonna lie i used to hate italy and had no desire going to italy and i like argentina those are my three favorite places italy argentina croatia malta wasn't so good morocco i guess was okay but i wouldn't go back um spain's okay we'd go back because we got family there but it's not I don't know, it's not my cup of tea either, but yeah, we like, look at this place though, look at this place, it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful. I mean, it has got pricier since joining the EU, and obviously, because of inflation around the whole world, it's not just here, it's like everywhere, so when people come here and complain, they expect it to be like the Yugoslavia era, where it's dirt cheap, but this is an up and rising country, this is a first world country, it's not no third world country. Like, I don't know, it's not a budget-friendly place. This is a luxury to come here. You guys should be excited and feel good about coming here. Not some cheap place that you just, you know, just throw away place, no. But I'm going to catch the bus. I'm gonna show you guys the spot where all the buses meet up. And it's like the hub where you can catch a bus and go anywhere here in Split. But I'll say this, I'm sweating and in August in the big city here, it's a little bit warmer than where we live. Where we live, we're like in a valley kind of, so the wind and it's really a little bit cooler, a couple degrees cooler. It's busting hot in here. It's gross, like I'm sweating, like sticky, rashing up, you know? The heat rashes everywhere. <laughs> Just on my arm here. And I need my uh, eczema cream. <laughs> That's weird, I shouldn't have showed you guys. Now everybody's gonna be make fun of me but that's okay you got the famous bar roof 68 roof 68 underneath you got more public washrooms plus you got a Hagen dazs ice cream and you got a whole bunch of stuff here you can do anything here 
let's go check it out let's go check out that roof 68 it's a nightclub you can come here and party at night have drinks and eat during the day damn some music yeah there's some music playing I don't really like that but you can get ice cream you can get cruise lines you can book your excursions at this little plaza here in front of Diocletian Palace and look at this Tom Segura that doesn't that look like Tom Segura with honey dripped all over him look at this guy crazy eh? is that Tom Segura the comedian who knows who that guy is that looks weird that's a weird way to promote a bar a man with honey and a dad bod what are we looking at what are we doing here Croatia so we're going to the iconic sign that reads split where everybody every tourist comes and takes a picture I've done it I'm guilty I've participated in this as well I'm no different so let's go check it out here we are see has all the tourists lining up for the picture in front of the letters almost every city has this now Look at the ultimate pose, huh? The ultimate pose here. Don't worry. <laughs> the old lady's like, I had enough of this waiting. So she just kept walking. <laughs> and uh, she, some people just don't wait. You know, when you're trying to take an epic picture for your Instagram and everybody just keeps walking by. Yeah, that old lady's like, I ain't waiting. I live here. Screw this. Walks around with garbage bags in front of everybody. <laughs> and here's the market. So Diocletian Palace is here. And we got the market where you can buy all sorts of sunglasses, beach gear, you name it. Souvenirs, captain hats like the one I wear in my videos that read Croatia. You're the captain of Croatia. And on the other side here is where the bus terminal is. The, the circle, the hub for all the buses. And if you want to catch a bus that goes to different cities and the port to go to island hopping, it's down here. The buses are on this side. And then the ferries are on this side you walk pretty easy to get to so it's pretty the transportation is great here unlike Malta the transportation is awful there especially public transportation awful but here they do a pretty good job I would say I mean I have been on a public bus here and <laughs> it got uh, it caught on fire like the whole bus caught on fire from the engine it just like blew up that was pretty crazy but I mean that happens, the bus was a Mercedes too, so. What are they doing, Mercedes? So let's keep going. And then this bus will take us to the hospital where Enzo got the sponge removed out of his face. And here it is. You can buy your Luka Modric jerseys, Kozanecki, anybody, Perisic, anybody. Any Croatian player, not anybody, but at least any Croatian player. So let's go. Here it is. We're walking up to it now. And we're going to go that way. The bus will go that way down that street. Let's check it out. Mickey is actually the king of buses. The queen of buses. She knows every, every route. She's amazing. She's brilliant. Brilliant at directions and the way of the city. But here it is, that is not our bus. That's number nine. So let's wait. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 18, 10, 5, and 11. Two minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and nine minutes. So, yeah, now it just changed. So eight minutes for number three. So I'm gonna catch that one probably. Eight minutes for number three. So now we wait, now we wait. There's the football torcida, the fan of Hajduk, kicking a police officer in the butt. One, three, one, two, torcida. <laughs> Remember folks, I'm a Croatian by blood, by citizenship, by everything. I live here all year round. I don't just live here in the summer. I live here during the winter, everything. So these prices and everything, when I say it's expensive, it's expensive for locals like us. Like, 11 euros or 13 euros for ice cream, two coffees, and a uh, croissant and a donut. To me, 13.50, that's a lot living here in Croatia. Because before, I lived here for five years now, so 
the four is super cheap. Inflation's killing everybody here. So it's coming from a local point. I know I speak English. I speak English good, don't I? So you guys might be confused and be like, this guy, he's a foreigner. Yes, it's still cheap for maybe foreigners. I would say people coming from Canada, America, England, yes, it's still pretty cheap compared to your country, for sure. But for us locals, it's getting expensive. But here I am. This is the hospital where Enzo got the sponge out of his nose. That's the bus stop to go back to the city center. And this is to go to city center one, the mall. So here we are. Now I'm waiting for Mickey. She's somewhere, she's talking to her friend. You know how it is. Waiting for the wife. This is city center one here and split. We're going to get some KFC. We usually don't eat fast food because where we live, we don't have fast food, but we're going in the city center and we're going to this store, Interspar, for groceries. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, you got all the stores names here. Peak in Kloppenburg, Mango, New Yorker, Cineplex, Ikea, Ikea, Hervey's, H&M. You got them all here. You got them all, so let's get in there. So lots of construction in this mall, as you can see. Mickey, how was your experience at the hospital? It was amazing, they're always so good. It was crazy, huh? Because they are fast, they are kind, so, uh, a lot of them speak English, and it was a success. And she is better now. <laughs> and she said, I missed out on a good experience. Look at this guy. She's like, uh, you missed out on a crazy experience because he had this huge thing. And she went in there, all like, hey, Mickey, your attitude going in? Like, oh. I was like, it's nothing. We're here because the pediatrician is crazy. He has nothing, he's perfect. He never puts anything in his nose, so we're not going to find anything, I'm sure. Five minutes <laughs> it's like, later. It has something inside. <laughs> <laughs> and not just something, something big. No, it was so big for his nose because he's this little one. Yeah. He put a sponge or something or eat it. Some I don't know how. Ball. I yeah. don't know how it ended up in his nose and it was disintegrated, like yeah. in bad shape that was of the smell. Damn. It's crazy, but look how much construction is here. And there's Oliver Dragojevic, the famous Dalmatian singer. If you can see him on the wall here, that's him. He's all this, if you look at my reels of Croatia, I'm always playing his songs, but they, we're going to eat. Let's go get some KFC. We're at Baby Center and you got the Luka Donchi, 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 uh, Funko Pop here. Enzo is getting a toy because he deserves it after that horrific doctor's appointment. He got cured and now here he is. He's waiting over there to get his toy. Let's check it out. He's getting a... He's getting a truck. I want him to get a big truck, but he wanted a small set of trucks instead, so that's what he wants. I want him to get one of these babies. These $60 tractors. You know what I mean? Look at these babies. He didn't want it, though. He wanted something like this. For 10 bucks. Which is better for us, 10 bucks. Yeah, I'm going with the classic bucket for four. And it's 19 euros for four people, so it's pretty good. They got the new California deal. Look how good the camera is, eh? Jesus. But I'm gonna get in there and order and then show you what it looks like. And so I got this. Came to 21 euros, 21.09 for a family combo of four. And a Pepsi. She asked me if I wanted two things. Didn't quite understand it, so I said yes. So I don't know what else I got. But I think they're probably sauces. But now we're going to McDonald's over there. You got McDonald's, you got Chinese food, you got the Chavapi Court, you got Ali Kababa, and you got Beaver on Food Bar, where it's like a bunch of different ones. And then you got the Fit Food, which I don't recommend Fit Food. Come into a food court, get something that you don't do at home. Not Fit Food. Not apples and oranges and eggs. So we're here at the McDonald's. Let's get some takeaway. Here. What does she want? She wants McMenu. She wants this. She wants the Big Mac. I guess she wants a Coke. 
And then, let's see, uh, burgers and sandwiches, this, and she wants this. No, she wants, what does she want, this? Add to order. They also have the new pistachio shake McFlurry. But I don't think we're getting the McFlurry. But Angela's is gonna get some chicken strips here. Uh, I would say three piece. Let's see how much this comes to. Um, we'll get some devil's hot sauce, why not? Add to order. And then confirm. And let's see, it comes to 12 euros. 12 euros for one big combo, a burger and chicken strips. Not bad. Not bad here. I think in Malta and Spain and stuff like that, we're paying like more than 10 euros just for a combo. So that's crazy to me. At McDonald's, crazy. So it's cheaper here at McDonald's in Croatia than Malta, Spain, Italy, you name it. And this is what it looks like. Look at the Chilapi house. So I'm gonna go back, enjoy some chicken, and then we're waiting for Mickey's food. And I bought a chicken bucket for myself because I like to have it for lunch and dinner because I love KFC and I have it like once every three months. So why not? Why not enjoy it, right? So yes, this is what we expected. It was sauce that she was asking me about. And here's the chicken, the old recipe. You get wings, tenders, and drumsticks. Not bad, eh? How's Mickey? You're from Tabasco. Yeah, devil's hot sauce. Why? It's so good. McDonald's? Yeah, I didn't get you the pistachio McFlurry because you want it later, right? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> An average day at the in split for us. It's quite expensive today. More Enzo, than 100 euros. More than that. Ooh, yes. Enzo's toys alone. God, <laughs> he got he got new shoes, new toys, like three new trucks. But he had a doctor's appointment, so he, he got a little spoiled today. And he had that thing in his nose, remember? Uh, I just seen an egg vending machine. That was pretty crazy. i never seen an egg vending machine here. But I'll show you a little vi video here. And then we got groceries from Interspar. I didn't take you in, but it cost about 80 euros. So all together today is easy 200 euros. Easy 200 euros for today. Jesus, this is Bonjour, we're out of here. Click like, subscribe, and share. Yeah. We're gonna finish this off with a Carlo Vachco Pivo. The worst one in my eyes, but... Ah, here we go. Mm. It's good at the end of the day. Nice beer. Enzo's calming down, he's about to sleep. We spent 220 with the cab that we're about to take. So we got groceries, we got Enzo's new shoes, we got him three trucks. <laughs> and then we got groceries, and what else did we get? Um, KFC, McDonald's, and then, oh yeah, the boat ride. And then a few things, the uh, coffee and split. So it all came to about 200. Well, damn, that was expensive. Expensive day for us.